Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to perform a nonlinear curve fitting using Python. So as you can see here, here is the result of a of an exponential fitting performed using the curve fit module of the SciPy package. So in my in one of my previous tutorials, I've already showed you guys how to install Python and all the necessary libraries for you know scientific programming such as NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and SimPy. So in this particular tutorial, um, we'll be using a majority of those libraries such as Matplotlib to visualize the results as you can see here and then the SciPy library to perform the curve fitting and then the NumPy library to you know create arrays and access mathematical functions such as exponential, sine functions, etc. So in this tutorial, um, we'll learn how to perform a nonlinear curve fitting. I have already written a code for that. And I'll quickly walk you guys through this code so that you can recreate or reproduce the results yourself. And this is a really important and a very useful skill to have if you are, you know, in uh, if you are, you know, a science major or an engineer, that you can perform such nonlinear curve fittings very easily using Python and the SciPy package. So without further ado, let's start going through the code. So the first line basically we are importing matplotlib for plotting or visualizing the results and we are importing it as plt so that it will make our commands shorter. So instead of writing the whole thing matplotlib.pyplot, we can just write plt instead. Then from the scipy.optimize, we are importing curve fit and we are importing numpy as np again to shorten the code. And then we will define the fitting function, that is the function to which we want our data points to be fitted to. So we, def we are calling the function func and it takes up three parameters. The first parameter is the x parameter, that is the x data points. Then, the two, then there are two more parameters depending on the kind of function and the equation that I have and how many parameters it has. And one thing really important that you should note here is that the fitting function should always have the first argument or the parameter as the x data point. So it cannot have you know a or b as the first parameter. It should always be the x-axis data points. And then the rest of the parameters for the function that you know uh, are to be determined by the curve fitting process should be um, entered after the x-axis parameter. So Here's the function func. It takes up the x-axis points and the parameters of the function to which you are going to determine using the curve fitting algorithm. And then as you can see here, the function is basically an exponential function a e to the power bx. So np.exp essentially means that we are accessing the exponential function with the numpy package. And then we have bx. And then here is a commented line of code where it basically returns a linear function that is ax plus b since you can also perform such fittings using this package however that might be a little inefficient and might be slower than performing a dedicated linear fit but still you can get the results and then what we are going to do is we are going to define the experimental x and y data points over here. So we create two arrays, x data and y data, and they are numpy arrays, and the x-axis data points are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the y-axis data points are 1, 9, 50, 300, and 1500. Now as you can see here, the y-axis data points are scaling pretty much exponentially, which is why I chose an exponential function for this fitting. Then what we are doing is we are plotting the experimental data points using the command plt.plot, then the x-axis data points, y-axis data points, and then bo essentially means that we want to plot these using blue circles, and then we are going to label them as experimental data. So as you can see here in this plot, um, we have the experimental data points as blue dots or circles, and they are labeled experimental data. And then we are going to start with the curve fitting procedure. So here are two common lines of code. The first one is just an explanatory comment. And the second one is a line of code that basically assigns the initial guess for our curve fitting. So the function that we are going to use for curve fitting, it can take initial guesses since it is a numerical approximation or a numerical method, of course. So 
by default it takes the initial or uses the initial guess is one for all the parameters that are to be determined but you can change those parameters if you want if you you know sometimes what might happen is that after the curve fitting you might not be able to the curve fitting algorithm might not be able to you know get the right parameters if you you know the parameters are too far away from the one initial guess since it takes one as the initial guess so if the parameters like too far away for, from that then you will have to provide a reasonable initial guess to get the correct fitted parameters but in my case um, I have commented this line of code and I won't probably be using it but I I added it just to let you guys know that you can even provide initial guesses in case you know your um, use of the curve fitting packages to something where the identity initial guess may not really work that is one as initial guess may not be really useful now we come to the most important part of the code that is we are going to perform a curve fit within it with just a single line that is we write p opt comma p cove equals curve fit then the function that we are going to fit the data points to and then the x-axis experimental data points and then the y experimental data points so essentially p opt would get the optimized parameters for the fitted function and then p cove would get the covariance matrix it will be a 2d array so it will be kind of like a covariance matrix and then func is the i already said that it is the function that will be fitting our data points to and then in case you also want to incorporate these initial guesses then you can also add in a comma sorry after y data and then write initial guesses um, all right so you can even use the initial guess or you may not want to use them but it's your call so i'll just go ahead and uncomment the initial guess so that i can use it and then what we are doing is we are printing the optimized parameters which is p opt so when we do that we in the command line we get something like this that is 0.45 for a and 1.622 for b since uh, a is the first parameter and b is the second parameter and then we are doing again some stuff to just uh, so we have already performed the curve fit at this point just by giving this command that's it that's all you need to do to get the fitted parameters but in case you also want to visualize them really nicely using the matplotlib library then what you can do is you can create another x array that will be like um it will uh, you know to create this red line sort of indicating the fitted function so we'll create another array which starts from zero goes to five with steps of 0 0.01 so we created this array and then use that to plot the uh, function with the fitted parameters so again we will do plt.plot the first argument is the you know fitted or so i mean this particular array that is 0, 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.3 up to 5 the second argument is the value of the function at all these points and then um, so we'll write func that is our fitting function and then the x-axis points and then the optimized parameters now what you can notice is we are passing the optimized parameters with an asterisk um, before then that is because um, we since our function had like two parameters here but p opt already contains two elements that is the two fitted parameters as you can see in the command line also it is an array and the two elements correspond to the two fitted parameters so to pass the array as two parameters for the fitting function we will write an asterisk here as it will unpack this array and supply the two arguments for the remaining um, parameters and then red uh, and then R basically means that we are plotting using a rel line and labeling them fit params. So we are labeling the fit fitting parameters as well. So we are converting the optimized um, parameters into a tuple and using them in this particular string. And then we are just adding some X labels, Y labels, legend, and plt dot show to show the plot. So now we can go ahead to the terminal and clear it. Um, sorry I have to first close this yeah so we clear it and then we give the command python3 the name of this whole code that is curve fitting.py and then hit enter 
and you'll notice that we get the fitting parameters in the command line because we get the command print p opt and also the whole um, beautiful curve showing the experimental as well as the fitted data points and also if you want to you know perform even more complicated stuff such as if you have like sigma values for your y-axis data points and all that stuff then there are even more parameters that you can use uh, in this function call for the curve fitting so here is the official link for the you know scipy curve fitting um, function and here is the official documentation so I'll also add the links to it in the description down below and I also um, what I'll do is I also add the code uh, in the description down below in case you guys want to just copy and paste it so and you can even go through this documentation to see what more things you can customize or use it to your particular application so that is it that is how you perform a nonlinear curve fitting using um, scipy.optimize.curve fit function and all it says nonlinear I found that you can even get linear results but that will be really inefficient so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and in case you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day